Good morning. Can't believe I'm back doing this again. It's the first day of the 2022 concrete season. I'm excited, but at the same time, I know it's going to be uh, difficult. It's going to have its challenges. Uh, my biggest challenge is I'm going to be missing bugs for a while. Uh, last fall, uh, it was the last job of the year. Uh, he injured his shoulder, and then through the winter, it really wasn't getting any better, so he ended up going to the doctor, getting an MRI, and found out that uh, he had a problem with his rotator cuff. Ended up having surgery on it beginning of March, and it's a pretty long recovery, so uh, probably won't see bugs around until about halfway through the season. I'm hoping July or August he'll be back. Uh, and then uh, Eric, of course, um, he was a great guy, but he had an opportunity come up this winter that he couldn't pass up, so I don't blame him. He's actually the first guy to leave me in a long time in many years. Uh, I've been through quite a few guys, but uh, that's because I've had to let them go. Uh, he's the first one um, to leave me in a while, but again, I don't blame him. If an opportunity comes up where you can better yourself and uh, you know take care of your family in a better way, I'm all for it. Uh, and then Mr. Balby, unfortunately, is health uh even last year you guys kind of knew i mentioned it that um you know his health was failing and through the winter it's gotten much much worse and uh driving a dump truck uh is is definitely out of the question uh he crashed his van just recently and um not being able to pass a physical and stuff it just it just wasn't going to happen so uh, i'm looking for one good finisher as i've mentioned and a part-time or a full-time cdl driver i'm really looking to fill those two positions the two uh, missing puzzle pieces uh, today the journey begins we're going to start off by it's a job that we didn't finish in the fall it froze up on us so we stopped uh, it was a sidewalk stamped, which we got done, and then a patio, which is all graded. We're going to set the borders today, and pour them, hopefully, and stamp them. And then we're going to move on to a new job tomorrow. It's a big set of steps, a stoop with a bunch of steps. And uh, it's going to be a lot of hand removal work with jackhammer. So that should be a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, the weather this week is supposed to be uh, not the greatest. I don't know how much we'll get done, but we got to get something done. We got to start sometime, so here we are. Uh, but right now we need to get to work. Uh, we need to take that trash out. You already knew I was going to do that. And then uh, we're going to go visit and say hi to Scott for the first time of the year. And then we're going to get to work. All right, let's get out of here. Morning. Morning. Why are you up so early? Me? Study. Study? Yeah. You got a test? Yeah. Mm. All right, have a good day. How much garbage do we make? Very easy. <laughs> What's that? There he is. Morning, Scott. I'm not hiding someplace in this building. All right, have a good day. You two guys see you tomorrow? Yes, sir. All right. See you every day now. Okay. Thank you very much. 27. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, just pulling in the yard. It's 628. The guys were due here at 630. It's the first day, so I'm sure everybody that's supposed to be here is here. Hopefully on the first day, <laughs> but you never know. I see Daryl already. Daryl, gonna give him another chance, you guys. And uh, I don't know, I just hope he doesn't disappoint me again. Same with Marcel. And Francisco got a new truck. I guess it's a nice truck. How's it going? Good, Ryan. How are you? Good. I'm ready? You ready? Hell yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. This is yours. How did you get such a nice truck? Did I pay you too much last yeah, year? You did. <laughs> Tell me the truth. <laughs> no, for real. When did you get that? I just got it last week. You did? Yeah. Man, we need to make some hours then. <laughs> The trucks are running, everything's ready to go. I wish it would stay like this all season. That would be nice. So I got all my registrations for the trucks. And uh, if anybody's wondering how much registrations cost, so those of you that are familiar with my trucks, you already know, but I have a quad axle dump truck. I have this FL50 flat bed form truck. I have a Ford Dually 3500 one ton. 
and then I have that tandem axle over there. I have this mesh trailer and that equipment trailer right there. Between the heavy highway tax and all the registrations, it was just about $5,000 uh, for the year to register all this stuff. People don't know, but if you have a truck that's over 56,000 pounds, which the tandem is and the quad axle is, you have to pay a heavy highway tax to the federal government, and it's pretty expensive. It's like $700 uh, for the year for the two trucks. I gotta put all the stickers on. I got all the registrations. Cool. Yeah. Uh, How's it going? That's a lot. No junior? I didn't do this for I forgot to do them up. all right i'm eating my yogurt so every morning for breakfast all i'm going to have is yogurt and a coffee or oatmeal and a coffee and that's it for breakfast no more of those quick trip breakfast sandwiches for me they're so good though <laughs> oh well man it's weird not having bugs here though come on come on for you come <laughs> yeah. on brother has he, found, has he found out i'm back uh, I think I mentioned it to him. Yeah. <laughs> if he kills you, I'll get it on camera. It'll yeah. go viral. Yeah. He's not gonna so. <laughs> I'm pretty disappointed he didn't bring Junior, to be honest. <laughs> God, I was looking so for. Yeah. I know, it's for CES. Where's Junior? I'll tell you something today. What's it like that? Who's going to hold the fender? Where's the, where's, serious. Where's, where's... I bought some new tools this year. Saw, fiber screed. We'll go over that stuff when we use it the first time. Anything I can do to make things a little bit easier this year because I am going to need it. Not having a right hand man for a while, it's going to be tough. You got to, you got to. <laughs> I know, but listen, you got to tell your wife. Not to feed me anymore. Oh my. No, I'm serious. Yeah, right. No, I'm totally serious. Unless she wants to like feed me sardines or something. Yeah, I'm right. serious, man. Yeah, I like them. You don't like them? No. I like those little crunchy bones. Oh. Mm. Somebody's got to drive the form truck and somebody's got to drive the white truck. Okay. And that's all we need. No, we don't need anything. Right. Um, I'm going to run and get gas, regular and mixed. And then I'll meet you guys there. All right. Finally, I've been waiting for this for a long time. All right, we're back on this job. You guys might remember this job from last fall. This was the last job that we ended with. We poured that stamp sidewalk, me and Bugs. Francisco and I graded this patio down here, but then it froze up and we had to take off. So uh, all we're doing today is the borders. We're gonna start the borders right there, make it the same width as the wall, bring it up this way, and then follow the pool deck all the way around up to that corner. We're gonna doll in. I'll show you that and we're going to pour the border today and then we're going to pour the patio uh, later this week or maybe earlier next week. I need a six foot level. All right, a couple things about this job. If you didn't follow along last year, I didn't take this concrete out. Uh, I didn't set these walls or anything like that. The bar, I didn't do any of that. Um, I was just hired to come in here and pour the sidewalk and then grade and pour this bottom patio. I didn't set any of the pitches. Uh, everything is already established with the stairs and the existing patio, as you can see. Uh, the landscaper, when he took the concrete out, 
He took some hunks out of the concrete, so I'm gonna patch that in for him later. See those hunks they took out? Francisco, does he really need you back there? No, I know, but I think he can work on it by himself. He can pound these dolls in back here. Hey, how come you nail it there? Look at the height of the orange line. You nailed the bore like an inch low. I got it. We're gonna chalk that up to rust, I guess. in the gas or what you shouldn't need to pull it as you spray it I just think you want me to hold your hand out there I do yeah <laughs> couldn't get the buggy started at all. I went out there and started right up. Like it was easy. Huh? I don't know what happened. <laughs> it always happens. This existing deck is like, it's all over and I'm trying not to trap water anywhere along here so it's pretty tricky. Just make this 16 inches like this. And then wherever this hits 16 inches here, then go right to this corner here. So it'll be just like that. Is this out of gas? A what? Marcel, you too. No, I ran the way Too much oil out of it. All right, that's fine. So you spilled all, why was the cap loose? Because I was checking the oil in there. So you so spilled all the oil out. Got all the oil. <sighs> the first day. Come on, they, they at least That's ridiculous, dumb, dumb. man. Got it? Yep, I got it. So once this is done, well, next thing we gotta do, we gotta tape all the edges and put plastic maybe three feet back all along the side. Mm -hmm. So when we throw the color, it doesn't get all over the concrete. All right, so this is going good. Put half inch dowels every like two, two and a half feet, a little less over there. And then we'll put rebar, three eighths inch, number three, all the way through here as we pour. And that'll be nice and strong. And then we, before we pour the inside, we'll dowel in to the border and do the same thing on the other side. So everything's all tied together. Nope, no thanks. Yeah, right. I'm not drinking Mountain Dew. Stop Are you kidding me? No. Nope. I'm serious this time. I bought a uh, I bought a rowing machine. You know where you row? Uh -huh. Sit down and row. Really? I'm getting that this week. I'm putting that in my bedroom. I'm gonna row every morning. All right, so I'm gonna leave the guys here. They're gonna finish getting everything ready. Get the rebar in the. Uh, borders get the tools out and all that i gotta run and get a few things i gotta get some oil for the buggy and then i also have to run back and get the big stamps the large ash so i brought the small ones i thought we used the small ones last year but we didn't we used the big ones so i gotta grab a few of those and then uh then we should be ready to go first concrete pour not a big one but uh something is something as they say all right, so I'm here at the yard grabbing some of the big stamps 
and it looks like the mice have moved in to my shed so I'm gonna have to do something about that there's mouse droppings everywhere so you got grass seed in here I think they're feasting on the grass seed Hopefully that was the problem there. That was a lot of oil, man. That's half a quart. It takes less than a quart. There, I just said it takes less than a quart. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Something's wrong with you. I'm convinced. Yep. Look who's calling. Brother, it says bugs. Yeah, I will. Hello. What's going on? Yep. Why? <laughs> well, what did you expect? Well, I, I was just checking. I don't know if you guys started up yet. Yeah, we're over back. Well, remember the last job, me and you stamped that sidewalk? Yeah. We're back here. We're going to pour the border. Okay. Who do you got to working with you? Right now, I got Daryl, Marcel, and Francisco, and that's it. Right on. I'm still looking for some a couple guys. Bobby's uh, Bobby's way too sick to work. He can't drive no more. Yep. Man, sorry I can't be there. Well, that's all right. You'll be here eventually. I don't miss this. This is killing me, man. But I'm sorry there's nothing I can do, man. I know. You'll have to watch the videos. That hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts, man. I should be in there. Yeah, I, I know. I just wanted to call Sam. Sorry, man. I wish I could be there. All right, man. All right, take care of yourself. Tell everybody I said I. I will. Thanks, Ryan. Yep, bye. bye. Bugs can't stand not working. You know, he, he wants to be here. Oh, yeah. He know Bugs. He wants to work, man. You guys work all winter or kind of on and off in the winter? All winter. Really? Mostly outside? Every day. Hey. You guys are beasts, man. Yeah, January, we had a big one in Aaron. We were working on it. We're never leaving this town. Hey, this is Ryan from Victory Calling. Hey, I have an 1130. Seven bag, low chert, air, microfiber, five inch slump, and 1% NCA. Is this, this is still Lafarge cement, right? It's just the new limestone mix? Yeah, it's still Lafarge cement. Okay, all right. All right, so you just heard me make that phone call, and I mentioned limestone cement. This is something that some of you might not even know about. I'm sure a lot of you do. Uh, I wasn't aware of it myself until a couple months ago when uh, one of my buddies, his supply company, not mine, sent him a letter kind of explaining how the cement is changing this year. So in the past, our cement, the cement powder, that's you know the main ingredient of our concrete, it was up to 3% limestone. And now they're upping the limestone due to environmental concerns to between 10 and 15 percent which is a lot that's a lot of substituting at least in my mind and uh, i'm concerned about uh not so much the strength i'm sure it'll crush uh, the cylinders will crush and test out but i'm concerned about surface durability uh, how is this new concrete mix going to withstand you know the freezing and the thawing and the ice and all the salt exposure that we have up here in Wisconsin and the north all you guys in Canada and freezing climates uh, that's really my main concern I hope it's just a you know it's it's an unwarranted concern I hope nothing comes of it I hope it's not a big deal and I really really hope that somebody tested this stuff to make sure uh, that it's going to you know, be durable for us contractors and for the, all the homeowners that we do work for. So we'll see what happens, but uh, right now we're just waiting on concrete. Going to get these borders poured in just a minute. It feels so good to be at work. I went in the shed 
There's a mouse the size of a rat in there. Oh, come on. Huge. They've been eating that grass seed all winter. Oh, yeah. Hopefully you see some out. No, he was in there still. He was running around. We got to pick up one of you, either Marcel or you got to take the white truck. You got to get there by 430 Lincoln Contractors. You got to get a tow behind compressor and a jackhammer with the hose for tomorrow morning. This too thin here, we're gonna have to take some out. Come down here now. There's only three there. Is here. Are you bringing the concrete in or are you just gonna watch it spin out there? I'm gonna watch it spin. I'm ready. All right. Yeah, we'll bring it in. I'm ready. I was born ready. Yeah, right. I was. Uh huh. Really nice out right now. Yesterday was yeah, great. We Windy. Yeah, like a 200 yard floor by us in Richfield and that got canceled this morning. Yes! Yeah, easy money on the first day. Why don't you work with him shoveling and I'll get the concrete. How do you know all these songs, Marcel? I don't know you were a rocker. I thought you were a rapper. Oh, okay. Part time rapper, full time rocker. My uncle used to listen to it. guys finish up this corner I'm gonna go back and start throwing some color go ahead and finish this out I'm gonna go back just make sure from there to there when you float it all the water is going that way because this is the flow line right here you know right there yeah all right so we're using golden sandstone color hardener I'm gonna go ahead and throw the first coat on we'll float that first coat in and then throw a second coat float that in I'll be ready to stamp give a quick float before I throw the color because it's really windy and uh, there's not a lot of moisture on the surface right now so as I go I'll just give it a once over with my float make sure we got the moisture we need for the color hardener to kind of soak in All right, now that there's not a lot of noise, uh, some of you are probably wondering, this is the Orange Thunder made by Kraft. And I've been meaning to try it, so I bought one. They didn't give it to me so I can say anything I want about it. So 
my initial thought is it reminds me a lot of a wood float where it moves a lot of volume of concrete so it's good for placing concrete um, and it closes up better than wood so it's kind of in between a mag and a wood float um, I like it it's fine I'll probably use it while we're pouring floating the edges and stuff it's just for getting the concrete down once it's down you're back to your mags seems good it's not a magic tool there's nothing real super special about it but seems decent as soon as I'm done I'm gonna come behind you guys and throw another coat this concrete's a lot different than the concrete we poured a few weeks ago in that basement that stuff was just awful set up so fast this stuff is like back to normal now thankfully it just feels so good to pour some concrete after a long winter pretty nice out right now it's probably 50 degrees which is a nice April day here in Wisconsin beautiful state of Wisconsin yep so when you float that just take your take use your float disregard the chip Run the, run the tip of your float all the way to where there's actually concrete again and that way you know it's perfect see that yeah. you don't want to go like this and rub it down into the chip all right you guys so first truck driver and the last truck driver of the year get a hundred dollar tip and we might do something in the middle this guy is the first driver of the year so he's the lucky one Schmitz has good drivers, man. The vast majority of them anyway. Every company's gonna have new drivers. That's just part of the deal, but Schmitz has a lot of good old veteran, old school drivers. And I appreciate those guys. I'm gonna try to sneak this into his truck without him seeing. Not a bomb. Oh well, I got caught. What are you gonna do? All right, so this is the second coat. A little bit lighter than the first coat. And uh, this should be pretty good once we float it. The color should be pretty even. <laughs> he only edged like 40 feet so far. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Man, Daryl just lets these tools get all crusty back here. It's like, come on, man, grab the tools and take them out there with you. If Daryl Jr. was here, this would have all been done by now. Yeah, right. Wash, put it away. Yep. I think I found the CEO driver, too. Mr. Bobby? No. Daryl Jr.? I wish. I wish he would have been dead. Uh, no, my daughter's going for her test. Your daughter? Yeah. Which one? Tori. The one with the... Uh... Yeah, with the head cancer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She's a trooper. She gets into everything with me like that. Does she know how to shovel? Probably better Probably. than him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh, right in your heart. Leave <laughs> She better hurry up because I need somebody soon. Let's go right back to the beginning. Yeah. Please don't tell me you're tired. Yes. <laughs> Come on. This is going to be a long summer. That's only like 75 feet of border. Francisco's tired already. That's what I said. They're tight, so he's going. <laughs> Probably. All right, the guys are just working in a second coat of color. I'm going to throw the release right behind them, stamp right behind them, and uh, be done. And all we got to do, this is just plain concrete here. We're going to pour this out, I think, probably later this week. You rusty, Marcel? No, sir. Yeah, right. How about you? Yes. That is your honor. Yeah, <laughs> nice, sir. All right, time to start stamping. This is going to be easy money. Right, Daryl? Easy, easy. Very easy. Do you remember how to do this? Or did I show you... I don't know. I know, but I was at the Deco Creek show and I picked up some tips. So was I. So I should be good. We'll be back next year. I know. For sure. I like those guys over there. They're very friendly. Plus, they feed us for free. I know. 
That's nice. Concrete feels pretty much perfect right now. Got a good impression. I like it. How's it going over there? I'm out of breath stamping. How's your macaroni salad? Pull that straight off. And then check either that little corner and that little corner. So Marcel's taking the roller, he's cleaning up all the joints. It's almost like a little pizza cutter. Some guys call it a pizza cutter. That's the hard job, right Marcel? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was easy. That was easy. You gotta start somewhere. At least we got some concrete going. Your back's so sore? Wow. We're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> you better work out when you're in Florida, man. Go jogging or something. Cause we're gonna start pouring some real concrete to it. Pretty much just gotta peel up the plastic and we're out of here. You just take that side over there, okay. over here, and we'll roll it up together, kind of, and just start rolling into a ball. That's not, I don't want to dump all the real, all the color onto the, okay. you know what I'm saying, like all this. I don't want to get that on there. Perfect. All right, we just finished up our first day at work. What'd you guys think? It was went easy. Good. Went good. Very good. Very, Very easy. Good. Except Junior wasn't here. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Junior, where are you at? He always does like, you know, the, the final interview yep. at the yeah. end of the job. He like, it was victory style. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Easy money. Easy money. <laughs> Junior, better come back. Get some bibs. So we're all done. We just did the borders. Thursday, we'll pour the interior. Them big bibs. Tomorrow, we're jackhammering a whole bunch of steps out. So but the borders went well. All right, Daryl, you gotta go get the compressor. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get the compressor. You gotta get the compressor. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.